I'm trying to platinum every game I own. The last COD game I did was World at War, and in this video, I'm doing... Released in 2007 and developed by Infinity Ward, COD 4 was a genre-defining game for online FPS games. Being the first COD game I ever picked up, this game holds a special place in my heart. But there's a little problem. Because the game came out before trophies even existed, there is no platinum trophy. But in 2017, they released a remaster that has 51 trophies. And to get the Platinum, we need to get the trophy deep and hard. We need to complete the entire campaign on Veteran. And we also need the trophy Mile High Club, which is such a hard mission that I don't even have words for. Also, this was all streamed live over on my Twitch, so if you want to watch a few Platinums live, go follow the Twitch. You get the first trophy, a winged dagger, for completing the first mission, FNG, where we get to meet... Good to see you, mate. Take one of the Price. Oh, it's Gaz. I thought it was Price. Okay, well, after learning the basics, we then get to meet Captain Price, who tells us... So, if it's your turn for the CQB test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 19 seconds. Oh, I can beat 19. And if we beat 19 seconds, we get the trophy and new squadron record. And I mean, for a guy like me, 19 seconds is way too easy. Oh. Hit the targets. Flash break Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Fuck, I'm back here! Uh, after learning the basics again, we gave it another shot. Oh, we're too slow. Oh, no. Bang! New squadron record. Now, 18.15 isn't a bad time, but some sweaty nerd over at Infinity Ward did it in 15.1. And if we beat that time, we get the trophy best of the best. And there is no way I'm letting some dev beat me, a certified gamer. I missed already. What? God fucking damn it, bro. What the fuck? Did I not just fucking hit that? 15.4! Oh. Oh. Bro, am I not hitting the fucking targets? I'll let you know when I'm locked in. Fucking plot now! We are ready! Veteran is recommended. <laughs> Alright. Earn a winged dagger. Another trick. They're flying in. We just started. With the first mission out of the way and veteran difficulty selected, we get the next trophy, Make the Jump. For completing the mission, Crew Expendable. We also get a trophy, The Package, for completing it on veteran. We're pricing the gang storm a ship for a nuclear device. And I wanted to try and do the entire campaign without dying. And surprisingly, I survived the entire mission. I mean, shit, you can't complete the entire game without dying if you don't survive the first mission. We are in great shape right now. Make the Jump. The package! Wait, this game's fucking easy. And it keeps getting easier with the mission blackout. Where we get the trophy Dancing in the Dark, and for doing it on Veteran, we also get the trophy The Rescue. Where again, I was gaming and didn't even come close to dying. <laughs> Holy! Okay, maybe, maybe a little close. But again, another mission without dying, I might actually be able to do this. Bang! Dancing in the Dark! The rescue. Wait, is this ever gonna get hard? Famous last word. The next trophy, the search, we get for completing the mission Charlie Don't Surf on Veteran. This was going to be another very easy mission without dying. Oh, okay. All right, we died. We died. First death. Yeah, if you thought I'd be able to do the veteran campaign without dying, thank you for believing in me, but I died four times in this exact room, so we are definitely back. Moving through the mission, I accidentally got a really hard trophy. Four of a kind. What is that? Oh, what a tough trophy. Now, also in this mission, there is a missable trophy called Your Show Sucks, where you need to break every TV playing <laughs> Alassad's speech, which I, of course, completely ignored. But after only three deaths, we finished up the mission. The search. We get the trophy Save the Bacon for completing the mission The Bomb. Now, this mission has two missable trophies, with the first one being Rescue Rosowitz, where we have to save him from being game-ended. Rescue- Oh, I had to rescue him? I had to rescue myself? He wasn't aiming at him! The other missable trophy is Feel the Heat. But we need to use this javelin to destroy all four tanks that are on the bridge. Now, this is something that I thought I had to do for the mission anyway, so it's nice to get a trophy for it. 
feel the heat! But after revisiting a classic COD 4 map that nobody liked, we regrouped at the tank and finished the mission. Bing! Save the bacon! And this tank actually reminds me of a tank that's in War Thunder, the sponsor of today's video! War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. With more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships, you can take to the sky, land or seas in dynamic PvP battles. With over 2,000 vehicles that date back to the 1920s all the way to the present day, with every vehicle being incredibly detailed and modelled to be as accurate to the real thing as possible. You can also customise your vehicles with War Thunder's in-depth customization system like I did using my favorite plane the Sea Vixen. Looks tough. And the best part, War Thunder is absolutely free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. And if you're a new player or haven't played in six months, you can also use my link in the description where you can claim a large bonus pack, which includes multiple premium vehicles, premium account, and a whole bunch more. But it's only available for a limited time, so what are you waiting for? Jump in and download War Thunder now. Thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel that allows me to miss trophies like this next one. Man of the People is the trophy you get for saving this old man from being cast. Alright, let's top these bastards before they kill the old man. They definitely killed him. Yeah, look, one, I didn't know it was a trophy, and two, I didn't think he was going to hit the James Bond on him. We'll come back and get this trophy later. What was that? But for this mission, I actually didn't end up dying that much. <laughs> God damn it. In my defense, to be fair, you have to try shoot out this helicopter that essentially spawn traps you. But after destroying the helicopter, we get a pretty nice light show. Mm, uh -huh. Fly helicopters much? Like fucking idiot. And complete the mission uh, for no trophy. Yeah, there was no trophy for this one. Sucks. It really does. <laughs> Especially when I die that many times, I kind of want a trophy. Is there no fucking trophy for that one? We get the trophy, death from above, for completing the mission, death from above. And we also get the trophy, the escape, for completing it on veteran. And lucky for us, it's a vehicle mission, baby. We love vehicle missions, especially when it's an AC-130 mission that also gets us two missable trophies without even trying. Straight flush. Kill five enemies in one shot while on the AC-130. Roadkill. Kill two enemies by blowing up a car in the single player campaign. After those two trophies, we finish up the mission. Death from above. The escape. Hell yeah. The trophies flying in. The bog is the next trophy that we get for completing the mission War Pig, where we are back in everybody's favorite COD 4 map. Bog but daytime. And after progressing through the mission a little bit, I got flashed by a dumbass. Daredevil. Kill an enemy while blinded by a flashbang and a single... Okay. After getting that trophy and traversing through Crossfire, we finished up the rest of the mission. Under 9. The bog. One of the worst maps in Call of Duty history. You get the trophy the First Horseman for completing the mission Shock and Awe on Veteran, where we get given a very fun grenade launcher where we can get the missable trophy Explosion Man for getting 20 explosion kills in a single level. And we managed to do this just as the helicopter was landing. Explosion Man. Now, for most missions leading up to this point, I'd actually been doing okay, only dying around three to five times per mission. Uh, but shock and awe was a small glimpse into what missions are still to come. They definitely get harder. Am I still alive? Never mind. I'm not still alive. And after finally beating the mission, Thank we God. get back to the helicopter and we get maybe the most iconic scene in COD 4. The first horseman. Somebody got 25 kills, man. Good on him. I thought he went... Uh, not good on him, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we get the next trophy wrong number for completing the mission Safe House. And for doing it on Veteran, we get the trophy The Second Horseman. And unfortunately, the missions with only three to five deaths are officially behind us because in this mission, I was going through it. What? What the fuck? You just put me in the fucking ground. And while I was going through it, we got a missable trophy, Down Boy Down, where you can get a small glimpse into what it looks like when my dog wakes me up in the morning. Oh, a Down Boy. Damn. Oh, oh that's price. Okay, hold, hold, holy fuck. And coming to the end of the mission, I might have been a little on edge. <laughs> So I guess we're supposed to keep Alassad alive. Oh! Wrong number. 
The second horseman. Oh, we got the first horseman before then. We got the second one. Oh, the next trophy, Gillies in the Mist. You get for completing the contender for one of the most iconic missions in the entire franchise, all gillied up. And for this mission, the nostalgia came rolling back. As I snuck around the wastelands of Pripyat, sniping the enemy, collecting intel, playing exactly how I would have played back in 2007. <laughs> After sneaking around, letting enemies pass, waiting for McMillan's count to shoot, and crawling under enemy vehicles, we end up stumbling upon a dog, where I get peer pressured by my Twitch chat to shoot it. Uh, what have you guys done to me? What the fuck? What, was he like the alpha or some shit? Like, alright bro, hey chill, I don't want no problems. With one last iconic voice line, we finish the mission. Look at this place. 50,000 people used to live in the city. Mostly ghost town. Wait, that's actually when he was supposed to say it, what the fuck? <laughs> Gillies in the mist. Now with every good COD mission, usually an unbelievably hard one is going to follow it. Unfortunately, that's the case here with the mission one shot, one kill, where we get the trophy piggyback ride for completing the mission and the trophy, the shot for doing it on veteran. And in the mission, we have to eliminate Zakayev and all I needed is one shot a to land after shooting, shooting him four times. <laughs> now after shooting the main villain of the game, they seem to not care too much and we escape peacefully. And by peacefully, I mean rappel out of an exploding building, getting swarmed in the street, and a helicopter landing on McMillan's, so now you have to carry him to the extraction point, peaceful. And this is where the mission becomes one of the hardest missions in the game. And in this first room, I got a little glimpse into what this mission has in store for me. Damn boy! Okay, I didn't know there was people inside. Where is this motherfucker? I hate it when they're just sitting around corners like that. Why does he change rooms? You have to code that in the game. That's not just something that happens. Let's go, McMillan! After putting McMillan down at the extraction, we now have to hold our position until our exfil arrives, which is only a small 8,000 meters away. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. And being the gamer I am, I accidentally got the missable trophy, reinforcement denied, by shooting at the enemies before they can get down from the helicopter. Reinforcement denied. Pussy. Now I thought I would be all right if I set up next to the Ferris wheel, but the AI in this game are on a different level. They want me dead and they want me dead bad. Oh my God. Oh, I was not ready for that. Holy shit. Oh no, they pushed so fucking close. Holy shit. Oh. I can't even see him. I can't even see him when he does that. When they fucking just drill me like that. Fuck me. I I'm getting flash banged. <laughs> what? We're throwing flashes. It landed on me too. It was clear that things weren't working and I had to switch things up. The best I'd gotten is the exfil only getting about halfway. Something about needed like, to change. Like so here. I tried off right behind this you know booth I mean? and like, can they come this way? Yeah, they can. Fuck. I'm, I'm, oh, how am I out of ammo? Whoa, whoa. I'm out of ammo? After a couple of attempts, I decided to move down the right side where I could try to camp this angle. If they push me, I could kill them here, and hopefully I would hear if someone is pushing my right side. Why I quickly realized no one was pushing me. Are they not programmed to push this? I'm, I'm literally just gonna wait it out. Why are you using the pussy spot? Wait, what? Is this a pussy spot? Yeah, it's a cheese spot. So it turns out this is a glitch spot, and on this channel, uh, we use glitch spots. Let's fucking go, baby! Hey man, I didn't code this shit. Blame Infinity Ward. No way! But using a glitch spot didn't save me from being ah. a dumbass. Ah. Alright. I, I read now run for it, and that's what happened. Okay, so after using the spot again, I waited for the X-Fill, and finally... Ah! <laughs> oh, shit! You should have crawled yourself, buddy! <laughs> Alright, well, back to my spot. Oh my god, what a grind this, this mission is. This mission is tough. I gotta, like... Dodge these nades that sometimes come to the corner and don't reach me. Like, look at that. Real gamer move I just did right there. I'm in! Bang! Easy mission for a guy like me. Piggyback ride. Let's fucking go, baby.
the shot that I missed eight fucking times. The next mission, he doesn't have any trophies attached to it, other than two missable trophies that, uh, shocker, we missed. But don't worry, we'll come back and get these after we finish the campaign. And this mission was actually quite easy. I'm only dying. Wait, they fucking nuked. Danger close, motherfucker! What was that? 24 times. We get our next trophy, Desperate Measures, by completing the mission, The Sins of the Father. We also get the trophy, The Third Horseman, for doing it on Veteran. In the mission, we need to track down Nico Bellic and chase him through the map, where we eventually corner him and peacefully arrest him, where nothing bad happens at all. Oh, tis but a scratch. Desperate Measures. That's a fitting emblem on the trophy. What the fuck? The third horseman. For the next trophy, Ultimatum, we need to complete the missions Ultimatum, All In, and No Fighting in the War Room, All on Veteran, where anything and everything was out to game in me. What? You were killed by an opening missile launch door. Deadliest thing known to man. Very cool. After struggling our way through the mission, I just gotta go. What? We actually get to kill Zakayev. I got him. I got his ass. Trace. Just kidding, but we finished the mission. Nice! The ultimatum. Coming into the last mission of the game, completing this mission gets us three trophies. Where it's the final push to chase down Zakayev. Where Griggs comes in Griggs. and saves the day. My hero, Griggs. My dead hero, Griggs. After Price slides us a gun, we game end Zakayev. The fourth horseman! Up the Win the war! Deep and hard, baby! What is this shit? That shit is fucking trash, dog! Get the fuck off the airway! With the veteran campaign out the way, we only died 171 times. But we aren't done yet. We still have 18 trophies to go, as well as one mission left to do on veteran. And that mission is Mile High Club, which is one of the hardest COD missions, maybe of all time, where on Veteran, we have one minute to clear out this entire plane. And if we complete this mission on Veteran, we get the trophy, Mile High Club. And coming off the campaign, I was feeling good. I was gonna be able to do this first try. Nope. I was not prepared mentally or physically for this mission. So we're gonna leave that trophy to very last. With the next trophy, Time Paradox, we got for going back to the mission, one shot, one kill. And actually killing Makarov, the main villain for Modern Warfare 2. I got him again, I hit him directly, what the fuck? Got his ass. Time Paradox. First try. Man of the People was the missable trophy I missed earlier in the video by accidentally letting the old guy get game ended, but this time I was going to save him to get the trophy. Man of the People. I do be a man of the people. Man vs. Machine is another missable trophy in the mission all gillied up. You actually take a stinger from the tower and take out the helicopter trying to spot you. Oh, he popped. He popped a fucking flare. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! What is happening? Tank it, tank it, recruit, recruit, tank it. He shot another fucking flare. Oh no, I got it. Man versus machine. Ah! Now staying on the all gillied up mission, the next trophy, dogs, I hate dogs, we get to meet up with a familiar friend. And to get the trophy, we need to knife 20 dogs. Why it's so many dogs, I have no idea. But after knifing our first three, we got another trophy. Three of a kind! What's happening? I got it. There's a trophy. And after knifing 17 more dogs and getting mauled a bunch of times, we finally finished knifing an absurd amount of dogs. I hate dogs. Dogs, I hate dogs. Oh my god, I do. 20 is a bit much. Who, who decided 20? Now, this next trophy is probably the most annoying trophy so far. And that trophy is the one we missed at the start of the video called Your Show Sucks. Where we need to destroy every TV showing Alessard's speech. There are two in the first room and what feels like millions in the main room of the broadcast building. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many. And then there are six at the end. And after our first attempt, is, is that not it? Oh my god, it's not it. Fuck! Uh, apparently, there are two TVs on our way to the main broadcast building that we absolutely missed. But on the second attempt of getting this trophy, I actually managed to get two other trophies. Yet no rest for the weary, for knifing an injured enemy. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn. No rest for the weary. 
Well, he can rest now. And we also got the trophy look sharp, which we get for collecting 15 Intel laptops, which was conveniently placed next to one of the TVs that we actually missed. Oh, we already got taken out. Luckily, and an Intel. Look sharp! But after getting that TV and the other one we missed, I spent a solid 30 minutes making sure I got every TV in this building. With myself and Twitch chat thinking we got every TV. Oh, I fucking hope so, man. We get to the last TV. Fire. Please. It's on a loop. After spending another 40 minutes combing through this entire mission for the third time. If this trophy doesn't pop, I'm never playing another COD Five. game again. Six. Let's fucking go! Your show sucks. It actually fucking does. But with that trophy finally out of the way, it was time to press on and start smashing out other trophies like the three missable trophies in the mission Heat. So we get the first trophy, the man in the high tower, for using all the ammo in the weapon stash in the tower. The man in the high tower. The next trophy, bird on the ground. We need to destroy a helicopter with an RPG. I missed. Got that one, bird on the ground. And we get the last missable trophy on this mission, Fly Swatter, for taking out all eight helicopters in the mission. Fly Swatter, got it. See ya! Now Desert Storm is actually a missable trophy in the first mission of the game, where we need to pick up the Desert Eagle from this guy who definitely didn't scare me. Oh shit. Actual Call of Duty jump scare. Piece of shit. And to get the trophy, we need to get five kills with it. And of course, I do this first try. One more. One shot, one bullet. One shot, one bullet. Ding! Desert Storm. Oh my God, I'm nice. Not missing a single bullet. Now for the trophy Retro Shooter, you need to complete the mission without reloading. And for the trophy Master Ninja, you need to complete a mission only using your knife. And if we're only using our knife, we don't need to reload. So we're actually able to get both of these trophies at the same time. That's obviously if I uh, don't just start shooting. I just started shooting. I hope this still counts. It did. Retro Shooter. Master Ninja. Hell yeah. With three trophies left, it was finally time to finish off the trophy Eyes and Ears, which we get for collecting all 30 Intel laptops scattered throughout the game. Eyes and ears. All 30 intel pieces done. We are moving. Now to get the trophy weapon master, we need to get a kill with every available weapon in the game. Now throughout the campaign, I actually used most of the weapons. Now the last two weapons I was missing was the mini Uzi and the Scorpion, which are both found in the bonus mission Mile High Club. What the f***? Weapon master. That is it! With Weapon Master out the way, the only thing that was left in our way of the beautiful Platinum Trophy... Mile High Club. Now this mission is so hard, it actually made me question if I was even able to do this. But to get used to the level, I decided to do the mission on Recruit, where we have 3 minutes to complete the entire mission. And I managed to complete it in a minute and 20 seconds. So cut that time down to a minute and give every enemy on the plane aimbot, we have our work cut out for us. Oh, I flashed myself. Good start, good start, good start. And I'm dead. I'm not ready for this. Oh my fucking god. Like, before I can even get a shot on him, I'm, my fucking aim's to the moon. Wait, where? Where? Damn! There's no one behind. And I'm dead in a second. No! I'm aiming at him! And I get fucking jumper kicked from Payday. After 115 attempts of trying to stumble my way through the mission, my chat finally gave me some good advice. It's simple, get good. Yeah, okay, there we go. And with that expert advice, I started gaming, bro. No, I'm going too slow. He's in last stand. Literally, please, anything but last stand. And after dying six more times for a total of 123 deaths, I finally locked in, and this time actually listened to my chat's advice. Oh my God, that wall. Ah! No, I fucked up. 
I fucked up. And after clearly ruining my best run, I had nothing left to lose and decided to go for it. Ah! Oh my god. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Of course we did it! Give it. Mile High Club, the plan. Just another day at the office. We fucking did it. Mile High Club, finished. Another day at the office. Done. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. And remember to go download War Thunder. It is free on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And for new and reoccurring players, you can use my link in the description to get a large bonus pack to help you shred the land, sea, or the sky. Thank you, War Thunder, for supporting the channel, and thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment down below of any games you want to see me platinum. Go check out my Twitch where we plat games live. And I'll see you in the next video where I won't miss a TV.